Hey, this is Liz, and you're listening to the South CAC Syndicate Podcast. We talked about for years doing a shark tank at yeah. a local level. Yeah, yeah. Right, let's put five guys in a room, and and then you get... Um, one of the programs we came up with is you, you bring um, 15 te- uh, teams in or 15 people in. Right. You give them 15 minutes, and the best pitch gets the pot. So there's like a dollar amount. Mm-hmm. The only problem, though, with that is... So have you ever used Fiverr or... I have. So, not Fiverr. That, 99 no, Design. Yeah, there's one where you, it, it's a minimum 200 bucks. Okay. And that's kind of what it is. And you you, get, you tell them what you want. And then a bunch of people join in to try to win that 200 bucks based on design. So everybody submits their designs. You pick one design. That winner gets the 200 bucks. What I found in that process, though, is what if none of them are worth 200 bucks? You still got to pick one. Mm-hmm. And you're not really getting what, so that's the problem I see. Well, with that's, that. that's where your disclaimer comes in. Yeah. Or there's a vetting process. Yeah, you vet them out mm-hmm. where there's a bunch of good Like ones. you know you've got three or four out of 15 yeah. that, that could could use the so capital now, injection. I tell you what I would do, what I would do with this company with the designs is say you pay the 200 bucks, but you get like a, you get like six $80 designs, mm-hmm. right? You pick the best one. And then you hit the dude up as low him and you say, hey, look, sorry you didn't win, but hey, I'll give you 50 bucks for the work you did. Mm-hmm. They already did the work. That's right. Yeah. They're like, shit, I'll take your 50 bucks. Then you Here, hit, here's the file. Then you hit up number three. Hey, I'll give you 50 bucks for what you did. Sorry you didn't win, but here, here's something. Mm-hmm. So I end up spending 400 bucks, but I got six designs. You divide that out. It didn't cost me $200 per design, mm-hmm. right? So, I mean, I guess you could do kind of the same thing with that, especially if you vetted them. If there was like, six great ideas or companies or startups he said here's the pot pick the one that wins but then you go to number two and say hey man we really liked your idea too yeah you know sorry you didn't win the pot but we'd be happy to back you in some way maybe some equity in the deal sure well Hollis it's not the place for that I think the harder part is finding five guys that want to throw in X amount of dollars each yeah. to, to have a... I think a better... I think, honestly, a better solution for that would be something like me and you had talked about back in the day where you have an incubator. Mm-hmm. You build a great space. It's really cool to hang out. Mm-hmm. And then you bring in these young guys that have dreams and aspirations, don't know business, don't know startup, don't know capital raising. They, yeah. don't, they don't know any of these yeah. things. You bring them in. Yeah. You say, hey, hey, let's build a team. Here's your space. You can use it. Yep. Yeah. You know, you find them so they've got 90 days to come up with their their idea. Start cranking out some code. Yeah. And then you find a a building and then you put them in the building and lease it to them because you're already on this. The idea we did in Seneca when you had the corner building across from Kiwi Brewing, we're going to fill it with smart people. And then we're going to start buying all the real estate all the way down to the Ramcat district. And you lease it to the. And so so Tony Shea did this and used to own Zappos, sold it to Amazon. And so we visited his facility in Las Vegas is where we got this idea for Oconee. And we never, we never came to fruition with it. But what he did was he had a, a board outside of his office. And if you were on staff or working at his co-work space, renting from whatever, you have put an idea and stuck it to the board. Well, every, right. every day he'd just go by his board and just pull one, look at the idea, and then he'd meet with you. And if you sold him, he'd be like, okay, we're going to get you going. And in 90 days, you're going to go in this spot. You've got six months to get out of the red and into the black. And if you're not in the black in six months, yeah. I'm sorry, we're still friends, but you're out. Next idea. Gotcha. That, so it was a that phenomenal be, idea yes, if you had a demographic. That would be super tough for tech, though. Well, it doesn't have to be tech. It can right, be, it could be whatever. I agree, because tech... Yeah, and that would work awesome for like... It could be retail. It could be bakery. Yeah. It could be art studios, so gallery. So who, who does the build-out? So the, I, it's two business models, right? You have the idea, and not only are you putting them in the space, you're taking a percentage of that business. Right. So you don't own 100% of your business anymore. You own X. I'm going to put you in the space. Right. You make the business happen. Then the whole flip side of that is there's a real estate deal on the backside that they're always getting in lease. Yeah. Whether it's from them or a new tenant, you're not signing a year lease. And I guess if the business you works the out, concept. They move on to a bigger space. That's right. You still have a cut of the business, mm-hmm. and then you move somebody else in your spot. So we left his office, and we went and ate at the at a diner or bakery. Uh, I, I don't know what it's, it what, came out of there or something. Yeah, and so she'd been there for three years, 
and singing pro. I would have never got to do this if I didn't yeah. have the ability. So I'd go in and build this face out for her. So what I found here locally in small town is everybody wants their own business. Yeah. But nobody either, they don't know how to build out a space yeah. or they don't have the wherewithal or the funds to do it. So we started building businesses and selling the businesses and keeping the real yeah, estate. Yeah, that's exactly what you did.